So we went for bombing around in the field today. It was pretty snowy and slippery and stuff, but this is using Pure Pursuit with an integral. Integral up here in the top corner beside the speed. Top number is integral and the bottom number is the derivative of how quickly you are moving away from the from the line. Uh, here we put it in Stanley. It works not quite as good as Pure Pursuit now. Kind of tough to decide which one to use, but and you can see it going around the corners. It's it's not as good holding the line because it doesn't know, you know, what the curvature of the line is as much as Pure Pursuit does. In uh, in a straight line in normal conditions, it doesn't matter. They both follow the line pretty well. They both have integral, but uh, Pure Pursuit's a lot more forgiving. Here is some slippery snow and the thing slides around and once it gets off the line then Stanley has trouble because it overcompensates and tries to get back in. Here's aggressiveness of about one and a half that helps it stay on a curved line but then the double side of that is it's a little crazier on the U-turn. And of course then Peer Pursuit click Peer Pursuit just meanders along the U-turn and it just stays there. It, it knows exactly what the curvature of the U-turn is. So it, it just follows a lot better. It's a lot more forgiving. The steering wheel is a lot quieter and that sort of thing. So hands down, Pure Pursuit's the winner on a U-turn. Comes back on the line really well. And then now, <clears throat> as you can see, the WAS zero here was... Uh, was six and a half degrees one way and now it's seven degrees the other direction and then the integral again up on the top there beside the speed top number 0 0.079 0 0.082 there's a limit of 0 0.1 on it but this is seven and a half degrees of of uh non-zero on the wheel so your the wheels are pointing seven and a half degrees the other way now to make matters worse they've turned the counts per degree down so it'll stay on the line within a centimeter or two even though we're 11 degrees off center and our CPD is wrong and here we hit that 0 0.1 up in the top corner there again it's 0 0.1 is the limit so it just can't go around the corner anymore that's why the the bottom number is the pivot distance, so it's sitting at 7 8 just because it just can't integral that far anymore. So we'll just turn down the, the zero offset. And everything comes into line. It freaks out a little bit at first until the integral figures out where it should be. And even though we have a huge offset, it'll still follow the line pretty well. <clears throat> 